Everyone knows the iconic grand piano. It's been around for, before Beethoven's time and has barely changed at all. The strings, soundboard, case, and hammers never changed. Everything from then was so amazing that they were never changed, apparently. Although everyone loves a piano, no one knows how it works, so I'm going to tell you. The strings of a piano are so strong, it requires wire cutters with a compound leverage joint and tuxing carbide jaws to cut them. Each note from the treble, which is highest in pitch at the right hand end of the keyboard, down to the bass, which is uh, lowest in pitch at the left hand, left hand, left hand end of the keyboard, is produced by three strings vibrating at exactly the same speed, sounding together when struck by their hammer. At certain points on the piano, going from treble to bass, the notes will change from having three strings to two to one. This is not standardized on all pianos and varies depending on what brand of piano you have. String lengths and diameters increase from treble to bass. Several notes are strung with the same thickness of wire but are cut to different lengths and tuned to different tensions to produce the desired pitches. In the bass range of the piano, the strings are wound with other wire to make it them thicker so they will vibrate more slowly. On modern pianos, the winding wire is usually copper. The copper winding wire with with um with the steel core are both so heavy that the lowest string is about a quarter of an inch in diameter. The strings are tu are tuned by using a long wrench with a square socket to fit the tuning pin on which the piano string is attached at the end. The hammers are the second most important part of the piano. When a piano key is pressed, a hammer flies up and strikes the strings tuned to produce the corresponding note, then falls away from the strings quickly as to not stop their vibration. The mechanical action allowing their, the hammer to drop instantly away from the strings is called the escapement. If a hammer remained in contact with the strings, it would produce a clunk sound instead of a sustained musical tone. Modern piano hammers are made of wood and covered in, with thick, tightly compacted felt. The felt comes from this place in Germany, which is Basically, it's a highly guarded secret of what kind of sheep they use, and they're, they've been breeding for centuries, which I think is pretty cool. And, um, where am I? If a piano is played so much that the felt becomes extremely tightly compacted from striking the strings, the piano may produce an unpleasant, harsh tone. The tuner can voice the hammers by loosening the felt fibers a bit with special needles so the tone becomes mellower. The size of the hammers increases steadily from treble to bass. Without the soundboard, the piano basically wouldn't make any sound. The vibration of the piano strings alone would be too quiet to be heard. Their sound must be amplified. Piano strings, like those on a violin or guitar, press down on a bridge which conducts the vibration to the large, thin piece of wood called the soundboard. Wooden ribs ac glued across the board and underneath help spread the string's vibration throughout its mass. While a crack in a violin body, body is a serious matter, a crack in a piano soundboard can be repaired easily without losing any of the piano's tone or quality, and without ma major surgery. Often, cracks in a piano soundboard are, no, are of no musical con consequence and should be left alone. Maintaining proper humidity during the winter heating season helps prevent the cracks from occurring. <sighs> it's hard to talk sometimes. The function of a damper is to stop the vibration of a string when the sound has continued long enough. As long as the player's finger depresses a key, the damper belonging to the key's strings remains lifted and the strings are free to vibrate. When the key is released, the damper falls back onto the strings, pressing the soft felt against them to, absor to absorb the vibration. The high strings on the piano usually do not need dampers because the energy of their vibration is released so quickly they stop sounding after a short time. The pedal on the right is for the purpose of lifting all three, all the dampers away of the strings from the strings at once, allowing the player to sustain a series of notes whose sound continues even after each key has been released. Furthermore, because strings can vibrate in, in sympathy with other strings whose vibrations are mathematically related to their own, lifting all the dampers allows the strings to vibrate which have not been struck but which are in a harmonic relationship with those which have been. This gives a fuller, richer sound. 
One does not want to use the damper pe pedal indiscriminately, or the result is something that, like using too much water in the water co color paints, the colors run into each other and become blurred and muddy. There are sounds which do not blend well and should not be sustained together. The pedal on the right moves all the hammers to the right, which makes the hammers hit only two strings. The middle pedal sustains only the notes that have already been sustained. The highest combined string tension on a large modern concert grand piano is around 30 tons of force. Although most pianos have far less string tension than that, um, the piano must have a tremendously stable frame, to, and this is to withstand the tensions of the strings. A modern piano strings are supported by an iron plate cast in a single piece and bolted to a heavy wooden frame. The wooden frame is called the bass, and the bass is basically the part you see. Uh, part of the tone of a modern piano is the resonance of this metal plate. Because the metal is less subject to changes in humidity than wood is, a piano with an iron plate holding its strings stays in tune through the changes in weather that could untune a wooden frame instrument. Overall, all of these piano piano um, pieces, all the pieces to this piano are extremely important, and if any of them were changed, well, it wouldn't work as well as it does now. And that's basically what I believe.